So I'm, I'm presenting here is a subgroup analysis of the Plato study. Uh, so it's just to give you a background, the Plato study tested the hypothesis that a more potent P2Y12 receptor inhibitor, uh, ticagrelor, uh, was more uh, effective than clopidogrel in reducing uh, the composite of death, MI, and stroke in patients with acute coronary syndromes, a broad patient population. And in that study, um, prior intercerebral bleeding uh, was a contraindication for the study, but patients with prior stroke or TIA were accepted in the study. And, and that is a very important patient population because it's a patient of high risk uh, of ischemic events and bleeding events. And uh, this, uh, this population is uh, fairly large, it's more than, more than 1,000 patients. They have clearly a higher risk of all events that we recorded, uh, mortality, the co primary composite, um, all ischemic events and bleeding events, of course, as you would expect. Uh, but interestingly, when we look at the, the, the randomized treatments, ticagrelor versus clopidogrel, uh, there were very favorable trends for, for, for ticagrelor. Uh, there was a consistent uh, benefit of the primary reduction of the primary composite endpoint, uh, consistent with the overall trial. Uh, there was a cons consistent reduction in, in the cardiovascular mortality and overall mortality. And there were no trends towards increased bleeding risk in these patients, neither overall bleeding risks or intracranial bleeding, bleeding risk. So it seems uh, effective also in this high risk population, and it's, uh, it appears to be safe. And I, my, my conclusion is that if, if indicated, patients with prior stroke or TIA should not be excluded for ticagrelor.